back around. So some of that, some of that. Uh, Now remember, he it's a warm day, he's gonna drive through the noggin. You know what you know how warm that can be in there. So this is all these procedures are all have to be moved with some expediency without sacrificing uh, you know uh, proper procedures. Okay, now he's this is where he's going to drop any other equipment that he has. He's got his sampling tools, he's got his sample containers of his samples. <coughs> With help from the tender, he's entering the econ shell. Okay, now we have our, in this case, we have our soapy water solution. We're trying to lift the contaminants and, and help put a layer of soap on him. Notice, notice the gloves he's wearing. Are, those are not crowd gloves, which are often used, uh, you know, in the, in the past waste business. So these are these gloves. You don't have to pay big money for, you know, biker dry gloves. doing a wipe around the seal on the diver's face. Yeah, you may have residual water. There's always, usually always water. If your mask burps or, or uh, you know, positive pressure mask is going to burp outward. When that mask opens for a split second, 
off your face, you're going to have some water. You may have water, TMA water collect right underneath the mask. But if everything is working right, that should be on the on top of the face seal, not on the diver's skin. Get things off without, uh, um, you know, sometimes it's a squeeze. This, in this case, the diver has a, has a Tyvek on. That is, so that's got some chemical resistance. That's another way to safeguard against uh, contaminating the diver. If, if you're in an environment that you really uh, suspected that had contamination. If you were doing an oily dive, you may even want to uh, wear a Tyvek on the outside of his dry suit. In this case, he's doing a, a quick screen for volatile organic chemicals uh, to make sure the diver did, did not uh, suffer any exposure during the, 